too often. It was madness, a wild and reckless risk. But by some miracle of fate, Lacadema silenced the baboon before the enormous troop could notice. In that instant, Lacadema, the curious cub, made one of her many transformations. She was suddenly a slayer of her most feared enemy. Quite suddenly, this already momentous kill took an amazing twist. Something moved in the dead baboon's fur. A day-old newborn. It took a moment for Lacadema to notice. She's always been curious. But instead of a swift bite to the neck, Lachadima stopped, then lay down with the baboon. She didn't know how to react. Hyenas would normally send her scurrying for the trees, but this time, she gently lifted the baby to safety first. Only then did she return to confront the hyena. It was an aggressive defense, protecting the baby, not defending her kill. Then she turned her attention back to the baby. For a cub not yet two years old, the sudden arrival of a baby baboon in her life must have been confusing. Lachadima's eyes never left the baby for hours, and strangely, this newborn started following her everywhere, reaching out to her, most likely imprinting on his new surrogate mother. And Lachadima seemed to be caught up in her own internal conflict. A young leopard at a confusing crossroads of life torn between being a predator and an inquisitive cub. Something more maternal and compassionate still within her at that moment. Finally, both settled down to sleep, exhausted by the event, cuddling for hours against the winter chill. It was the cold that finally made the baby baboon go quiet 